Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about magical sequence. This is a medium level coding question. If you are not good at coding, please watch our placement. Please visit our website learningmonkey.in and you have to take the placement training for service based companies course. In that course, we have discussed about the basic level examples. Our exemption here is you already watched that. Uh, that playlist and you are good at basic level examples uh, then only you can understand this uh, medium level examples uh, and our explanation is also completely dependent on the assumption that you already have that basic level understanding based on that we are going to explain the concept uh, coming to today's example so let's try to understand what's magical sequence means uh, they will give a list of elements they can give any list of elements uh, 2 4 6 8 12 16 120 these are the list of elements uh, they have provided uh, so what's magical sequence means 4 divided by 2 yes it is divisible by 2 so 6 divided by 4 no 8 divided by 4 yes it is divisible by 4 12 divided by 8 no 60 divided by 8 no 120 divided by 8 yes it is divisible by 8 so what's the sequence we have formed here 120 divided by 8 8 divided by 4 4 divided by 2 so 2 4 8 120 this is one of the sequence which we have identified what's the number of elements that present in this sequence total four elements are there is this the only sequence which we got in this list no you are having another sequence also we have to check for all the possibilities so so we have to check for all the possibilities what's those possibilities let's try to understand 4 divided by 2 yes 6 divided by 4 no but you should not leave it here you have to check for all the points 6 divided by 2 yes it is going to divide it by 2 so whenever it is divisible by 2 then check for 8 divided by 6 no 12 divided by 6 yes 60 divided by 12 yes 120 divided by 60 yes so what's the maximum possibility we are having 2 6 12 60 120 what's the maximum number of numbers that are present in this sequence total five numbers are there so you have to find all those type of sequences out of that you have to pick the maximum count the sequence that consists of maximum number of elements what's the maximum number of elements present in this sequence five this is the output you have to display so they will give the list of in elements as input you have to display this count value so how to check all the possibilities this is the point you have to understand because in placement they don't ask you direct questions write the question for magical sequence they use this base logic and they are going to change the question they will add some extra logic these type of examples which we uh, already discussed in our previous classes when we discussed about uh, spiral matrix they are not going to ask the direct questions about spiral matrix they change it the logic similarly they will use this basic logic from magical sequence and they will change the logic a bit so if you do it on your own then only you can solve the questions that are present in our uh, placement uh, so our 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 uh, in this class we are going to give some intuition about the logic how to write the logic if you uh, will give an intuition you extend the example and you elaborate the example and you practice it then try to write the code on your own then check for the solution in the website we are going to provide the question and the solution uh, uh, coding for in python language but you try it on your own then check for the solution so this is what magical sequence means uh, let's uh, for better understanding we'll discuss one more example 8 3 9 6 12 120 this is the list of numbers uh, they have provided 3 9 is one sequence 3 6 12 120 is another sequence what's the maximum num uh, number of elements that present in this sequence for this is the output you have to display means the point you have to understand from this uh, the sequence may not be started from the beginning it may start at anywhere see here 3 6 12 120 3 6 12 120 so that is the point you have to understand uh, this is how you this is the logic you have to identify we have to identify the counter so input is a list of elements output is number of elements in maximum sequence uh, now coming to the logic part let's try to understand step by step uh, 
listen to the logic till the end then only you will get clarity how we are identifying all the possibilities in the sequence and how we are updating the counter that is the two points you have to understand so 2 4 6 8 12 60 120 so we are going we are using nested loop our first iteration see here this is our input uh, uh, input list we are taking one more list this list is going to update the count initially count is zero count of a number of divisions number of sequence divisions happened that is what it is going to uh, the count value has been updated here for that purpose we have taken one more list initially the count is zero so our algorithm starts like this it will start from first it is in the first iteration it is going to start here means at this position means second element position so we have to check before 4 divided by 2 how many elements are there before uh, uh, this second element one element is there so 4 divided by 2 yes it's divisible whenever it's divisible we have to update the count how we are going to update the count 4 is divisible by 2 so that's why at the first position what's the count is count here 0 0 plus 1 greater than what's the count here 0 so update the count after updation we are having the count values like this 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 what's the meaning of this why we have updated one here see up to here means before some elements are there up to here what's the maximum sequence division count that is possible in our list that is what we are going to update here before up to here what's the maximum possible sequence count Se the sequence divisions possible one division that's why we have updated here one this is what first iteration means in the second iteration we will start from here so we go back and check the all the possibilities what's all the possibilities here we have checked the elements one two this is one of the possibilities from here no need to check again one two possibility we have to check the remaining possibilities other than one two possibilities what's the possibilities that are present here first element is going to check with third element second element is going to check with third element these are the two remaining possibilities we have because one two is already updated here we have updated the count no need to check again means here we have start from here six six divided by two yes it's divisible by two so what's the count here zero zero plus one one greater than zero so update the count with one yes zero plus one one that should be updated here yes one what's the meaning of this up to here up to here what's the maximum division sequential divisions possible that is what we are going to update one why we got one six divisible by two this is one sequence 4 divisible by 2 this is another sequence but this is not continuous sequence assume that if there is 8 in place of 6 4 divisible by 2 8 divisible by 4 what's the count you should have 2 but it is not there in this situation we have we have checked 6 divisible by 2 with this we have updated the count with 1 but we have to check for one more possibility 6 divisible by 4 yes in the second iteration we are doing two updations 6 divisible by 2 6 divisible by 4 if it is divisible we will update the count if it is not divisible we are not going to update the count 6 divisible by 4 no so don't update the count so what's the values we have 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 so what this says what this first one says up to here maximum possible sequential divisions count that is what one up to here what's the maximum possible sequential divisions that is what we are updating here one because six divisible by two that is the only possibility we have and the another possibility is also there four divisible by two but they are not continuous divisions that's why we are having only single count single count that's that is what we are going to update so with next iteration you will get much clarity so now 
uh, the next iteration is going to start here at this position we have to check back again what possibilities you have to check already we already checked for one two possibility one three possibility two three possibility we have to check for uh, check for this is the fourth element fourth element divided by first element fourth element divided by second element fourth element divided by third element these are the possibilities we have to check and update the count let's try one by one eight divisible by two yes it is divisible by two whenever it is divisible by this division happened update the count what's the value that is present here zero zero plus one one greater than zero yes update it update this position with one zero one 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 whenever we updated here the maximum possible sequential divisions up to now is one eight divided by four yes now check the updation what's there here one means already up to here we are having one possible division now eight is going to divide four then that's why one plus one two is two greater than one yes update it with the two now so what's the maximum possible sequential divisions possible up to here two divisions it is eight divided by four four divided by two this is how we are updating again after that you have to check for one more possibility eight divisible by six no no need to update so after updating after third iteration what happens this is the value we got zero one one two up to here what's the maximum possible sequential divisions possible we are counting number of divisions not number of elements this is the point you have to remember we are counting number of divisions up to here two divisions two divisions means how many elements are participating three elements are participating like this keeps on continuing and keeps on updating this count uh, count list after completion of this uh, you have to check for the maximum element present maximum count present in this uh, and that is the maximum number of divisions plus one you, you have to display number of elements number of elements means you have to add one to this uh, number of divisions here we are maintaining only number of divisions see from our example one two three divisions we are maintaining how many elements are there four elements are there one two three four divisions we are maintaining what's the number of elements five elements that's why after coming out of that after checking the maximum count of number of divisions we have to add one plus one to get the number of numbers so this is what the logic for this let's try to understand the coding part coding part is very very simple we are taking the list we are not explaining we are taking list and list one list one is taking all zero values we are uh, taking the values in the list uh, list first list then we need nested loops loop within the loop so the first loop is going to start from first position second loop is going to check from the zero eighth position first position element check with zero eighth position second position element zero eighth position and first position that is how we are going to update so list within the list inside the list with list of y percentage means it's divisible by list of j we have to update the list one we have to update the list one so you you try to elaborate this example and you try to elaborate this example for the remaining parts also then you will easily understand the logic how to write the coding for that anyhow the code is presented in our website you try to do it on your own then check for the solution hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you